the owner of a business on Vancouver's Granville Strip, is speaking out tonight. She and her partner have had enough of the constant crime and vandalism that's cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. They say it all escalated after the province opened what was supposed to be a temporary housing site three years ago. CTV's Ben Nesbitt has the story. Rocks tossed through their windows. Fires started inside their store. Staff members threatened. Just some of the chaos the owners of Wildlife Thrift Store say they've endured in recent years. It is unchecked criminality that is going on. Carla Alkavist and her husband have owned the shop at Granville and Drake since 2001. She says they've always had ups and downs operating in that area, but says ever since a nearby hotel was converted into a temporary supportive housing facility by BC Housing in 2021, the crime has become overwhelming. We donate funds to aid and care um, we want everyone to have housing. It's not about housing. It's about putting violent offenders right in our neighborhood and feeding them money, drugs, and no consequences. Alkavis says they've had to spend around $300,000 on security and replacing broken windows over the past three years. There needs to be changes and it needs to come from the top down. In a statement to CTV News, Mayor Ken Sims said, I hear and understand the concerns of Vancouver businesses, especially those in our downtown core who have been impacted by the ongoing mental health and addictions crisis. Together with Vancouver Coastal Health, BC Housing and VPD, we're currently working to build a stronger, more comprehensive approach that truly tackles these challenges. While BC Housing tells us it's not a any criminal activity by those living at the facility and says Alkavist and her husband should contact them. What, what we're just asking for is for consequences for people who are harming and damaging our society. Ben Nesbitt, CTV News, Vancouver.